guys, Jazz here, and uh, today I'm doing a Q&A. Um, so I put this out there on Instagram uh, because I get a lot of questions and a lot of the time I don't really get to answer them. And sometimes I get questions pop up on YouTube where people ask me stuff, but then when I go to click on it, the comment isn't showing as public and I can't see the rest of the comment or I can't reply to it. So I thought I'd just answer some questions on here. So am I buying anything from Funcom that is coming up? No, I am not. So there was only one thing on there, which was um, Nightmare Before Christmas bag, but I don't buy any of the bags because as you can see, I don't have any and they're really expensive. I don't really go anywhere to utilize them. They take up a very large amount of space. Um, they are cool, don't get me wrong, but I just don't see it as being a thing that I will collect. Um, my next question was, what do I do with my doubles? How do I get rid of them? How do I not get stuck with them? Well, I don't really have an answer to that. Uh, I put a lot of them on Marketplace when I really need to clear them out. Um, I, like I've said in other videos, cash converters will take them for $5 a pop if you really need to get rid of them to make room. Otherwise, I do give a lot of stuff away, as you've probably seen if you watch other YouTubers. I've sent a lot of stuff over to Japan. I've sent a lot of stuff to America. I've sent a lot of stuff to other YouTubers in Australia as well. So we do tend to do that. Um, I also do a lot of box swaps with people too. So that kind of stuff happens. We do a lot of trading with people when they get things that they don't want and I get things that I don't want and they'll say hey I want that and I've got this and we just sort of swap things around and you know it kind of just you know frees up space for all of us. All right so catch my breath. <laughs> um, what is my favorite pop from my collection? So this is actually a really hard one because I actually have a couple of favorite pops from my collection so this also goes with my Another question, which are what are my top three favorite pops? So, um, this is probably one of the pops that I've spent the most money on. Now, I don't buy grails. I don't like spending a lot of money on pop vinyls. Um, for me to drop $100 on a pop or more, very, very rare. It's not something I tend to do. I don't like spending that much money on something for myself at all, let alone on a pop vinyl. But this one I had to have as soon as I knew they made them. I went hunting down. Um, I love Rainbow Bright. And yeah, it's probably one of my most valuable pops as well. So that answers another question. So these are pretty rare in Australia. A little bit harder to find. Uh, another one of my favourites is Rob Zombie. I love Rob Zombie. I've always loved Rob Zombie. Even when I was young, like one of my first gaming nicknames. Um, chat website nicknames was Living Dead Girl, Rob Zombie for life, and my Glow in the Dark Atom Bomb. I was really lucky with this. I ordered two normals and I got a normal and a chase. Um, I think this was one of my most valuable pops in my collection because I don't really have a lot of grails. Like I said, I don't spend that kind of money. If I am lucky enough to get something, it's been out of a mystery box. Um, I don't really do the grail hunts. I did for a little while. I was collecting Freddy Funkos, but I did sell those off um, to fund other things. So I don't have those anymore. Um, another one of the questions that came up was, do I collect specific lines? The answer to that is yes. Nightmare Before Christmas is my main collection line. Um, aside from that, I also collect Garbage Pal Kids. That is over there. Then I collect World of Warcraft, which is up there. Um, behind me, I have got my Barbie line, which is here. Dinosaurs, which is the TV show. I've got the whole set of that. I started collecting Pop Rocks, but I won't be going after the older expensive grails. I just don't. They're way out of my price range. Um, and the kids all have their own lines that they collect as well. So Levi collects Bendy and the Ink Machine. He also collects Five Nights at Freddy. Winter collects Friends. Uh, she also collects one of those other things. 
brain's not working. Should have really thought about this. Faith, what do you collect? She clicks. She collects Hello Kitty. That's only new. We don't have a lot of those yet. Um, she was collecting Simpsons at one point in time, but she decided that she doesn't want the Simpsons anymore. So we uh, sold those off, and now she's going down the Hello Kitty line. Uh, how many pops and sodas do I have? Well, that is a question I actually can't answer. My Funko app has kicked me out. So a lot of people have had this problem lately, and we can't get back in. It tells us that it, a, a, an administrator has closed our account, and um, then you can't make a new account because your email is already in use. And so my whole collection list is gone, so I don't know. So I don't know what my most valuable collection, my most valuable in my collection is either. I dare say it's probably my Atom Bomb, my Rainbow Bright, or these two, which are probably also two of the ones I have spent the most money on. So these were my, um, one was eBay, I think this one was eBay, and this one was when I tried the Whatnot app. So I've only tried Whatnot once, and it took a really long time to come. Um, so I'm not too keen on trying Whatnot again, unless there's something super, super interesting on there that I really can't find anywhere else. Um, but you know, in saying that, I'm happy that it went through a third party, so there's no messing around. You know, it gets verified, then it gets sent on, you know what you're getting, you know that the quality is there. You know it's legit, you know you're not buying fake. Uh, what grails do I want? So I'll throw those up here. So I want the Elvis Grails. Um, those of you who've watched my channel for a while know that I gave all of my Elvis Pops to my Nana and I have started collecting Elvis again. I never had the Grails, but I would love them. They are amazing. I just don't ever see myself spending that much money on Elvis Pops. Um, aside from that, the World of Warcraft Pops. So there are all the gold ones. I want all the gold ones one day. When I'm in Lotto, all the Merlocks. I do have the White Merloc and the Purple Merloc, but I don't have the rest. I don't even have the Green Merloc. That should be on my list as well. I need the Green Merloc too. What else is there? Do -do 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 -do. Boo! Black Illidan. Black Illidan's amazing. Hmm. The Nightmare Before Christmas ones that I still need. Well, I still need lots of them, but the ones I want the most, the most unattainable ones, so the three pack metallic, which everybody wants, and they're really expensive. Tay's got them from Pop Life Australia. I'm gonna go and rob her one day and steal them all. Uh, the two pack, that's pretty cool. I want that as well. I do still need the soda chase, the normal Jack Skellington. I never got the chase of that. So that is still on my wish list. I do have the other sodas down here. Boom, as you can see. Um, hmm, what else? Donald Dumpty from Garbage Pile Kids. I have put shout outs everywhere trying to get that. That is one I'm actually actively trying to get. I just refuse to spend like $200 getting it imported from America. So that is on my wish list. I know pop culture sold it at some point in time. Hopefully somebody in Australia has it and can sell it to me one day at not a stupid price. Okay, what pops do I want to see Funko make? So this is a big one for me. My all-time favourite kids show was Hug a Bunch. So most people probably have no idea what Hug a Bunch was. It was my favourite movie. I've traumatised all of my children making them watch it as well. I love the Huggins in there. So I would love to see Huggins Pops. They are adorable. Um, I would like to see Odd Bods made into Pops as well. So they did it with Garbage Pail Kids. And I think they could do it with Odd Bods. Right, so these are just some of my spare cards. I'm going to show you guys. Give me a second. So I've got cards in folders. These are just my doubles of my Odd Bods. Whoop! Falling all over the place. So that's just my doubles. Right, so check this out. How cool would these be? So that's Franken Baby. Turn him into a pop vinyl. He would be awesome. Werewimp. Awesome pop vinyl. Draculard. Nerdy Neville. 
Snoop Doggy Do. Put it in the Pop Rocks line. It'll sell. And then Doc Fever. I think Doc Fever would be like an awesome 10 inch pop. So I'm down. Odd bods. Throw them out there, Funko. Please. And then the next one, Faith agreed with me as well. The Land Before Time. How they have not made Land Before Time pops, no idea. I'd also like to see Captain Planet, but I only want to see Captain Planet. I don't really want the rest of the gang. Just a Captain Planet would be amazing. I was also looking at Gumby. I know they have made a Gumby pop. I do want to get that, so add that to my wish list. Um, but I also want Pokey from Gumby, so if they could make one of those, that'd be sick. Hmm, where are we at? My favourite YouTubers. So there are so many. Um, I'm going to go with my top three. And I'm even going to tell you why I like my top three. three. Alright, one second. The Pop Arcade. Cam. Now, if anyone hasn't seen the Pop Arcade, go over there, subscribe, and watch all of his videos. Because he is awesome. He takes everything out of the box, so if that bothers you, you should get over that right now and then still go and watch him anyway. I love Cam. He lives local to me and he is just the sweetest, most amazing guy ever. And he has some of the best videos that I have seen on Pop Finals. Straight up. Then there is Cisco Yeah Boy over in America. Him, his wife, his son, they are awesome. Oh, there's my dog. Give me a second. All right, so that was my post ban. <laughs> All right, so anyway, um, back to my top three YouTubers. So Cisco, yeah boy, uh, they do daily vlogs, which I think is awesome. So it's not just like them opening pots. You get to see their chickens, their dog, the cat, what they're eating, where they've gone. Um, it's pretty cool to watch them camping and like, it's just awesome. Um, I sent them over some stuff, which is cool. Uh, they got right into the Vegemite shapes, which us Aussies, most of us don't like Vegemite shapes, which is really weird, but they love them. Um, and then... My next lot, they're kind of new, uh, new on the scene, and I really like them. I've been watching all of their videos, and I always laugh. So, Tills Pops, um, you know, there are so many YouTubers I could be shouting out right now as my top three, but these three are just three that I watch religiously. Like, I don't think I've missed one of their videos, and if I have, I've gone back and watched it later because I can't leave their content alone. So Tills Pops, they like spin wheels, they play games, they dress up, they are just so funny. They do like, they've done music videos, <laughs> they are just a hoot. They are, really are great. They do like battles where they pick Pops each week and yeah, you, you really have to go watch their stuff. So they don't have a lot of subscribers yet. I think their last count was like 400 and something, but they're definitely going to blow up and end up with a lot of subscribers because they are just so funny. Um... But yeah, so that's my quick Q&A. Uh, we'll throw that out there. I'll also put up just some random photos of my collection. So it's only some of it. Obviously, the kids have got their pops in their bedrooms. Uh, I don't really want to go taking photos in the kids' rooms, so they're not going to be shown. Um, but yeah, just the random pops that are around the house. I'll put photos of those up. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.